Eid Mubarak to everyone, all Muslim brothers and sisters and everyone around the world. This is uh, the Eid day here for Eid is ongoing at um, somewhere here in London, East London side. So this is the uh, Victoria uh, Dock area and uh, we're going to go and... As Muslimin, we have two Eids. It repeats itself every year two times. One at the end of the month of Ramadan and one at the end of Hajj. Not the end of the Dhul-Hijjah. Because Alhamdulillah, all the rituals of Hajj is coming to an end. So this is where the Muslimin, they celebrate. When you have come the message in Kutba was said just immediately after the prayer about sharing love and showing love to our uh, fellow uh, human beings, families, friends. Alhamdulillah, he can be a man. 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 Alhamdulillah, he وأشهد أن محمدًا عبده ورسوله عليه الصلاة والسلام الأكملان الأتمان Or even if it is something major Remember صلة الرحيم The ties of kinship my dear brothers is very important Especially in these days So please brothers and sisters If you have a difference with someone if you had a previous problem with a family member, or it could be a relative, it could be a cousin, it could be a friend of yours that you've known for years, and for whatever reason, the shaitan got in between and caused problem for you and that person, then what you need to do is use these three days to remove the shaitan. Take the shaitan out and bring that love and respect that you had for one another. And subhanAllah, even if the other person does not comply to you, does not want to have a relationship, what do you do? You be the better person. You go for it. You call him, call her, text them, message them, invite them, go and see them, meet up with them. Nowadays it is a trend to go out and eat, to have dessert. Invite them to a meal, pay for their meal. But don't ruin that relationship. Inshallah, another time I will talk about you know, the importance of Salat al Rahim in Allah Ta'ala. May Allah Azza wa Jal accept all our deeds in these days of, in these blessed days of the Hijjah. Barakah, Eid Mubarak to everyone, all across the world, to all our friends and family around the world. Say Eid Mubarak. So this is uh, the heat ground in London just after the heat uh, prayer said everyone sharing love, shaking hands, saying salam alaikum, caring for others. That's the message of heat and uh, everyone will now go out there now and share love and to others as well. That's it. And then also remember your neighbors as we celebrate heat, message of heat to so everyone, to all Muslims, show love to others whether they are Muslim or not Muslims. That's the message of Eid to everyone. Now we can go home now and also do the, the beautiful of, uh, you know, if you have the ram, you just have to slaughter the ram and also uh, share it in portions. One for yourself, one for your visitors and family and also to your neighbors. The message of Eid is all about caring and showing faith to others. Thank you for being here. Please share this video if you enjoy watching it. Stay Eid Mubarak to everyone right from London here. Say Eid Mubarak. Masalah. Themselves in many different types of ibadat for all this tawfiq, we say Alhamdulillah. That's the first point that I want to mention, my dear brothers. Second point that I want to mention, my dear brothers. The story of Ibrahim and Ismail alayhi salam. Every Eid al-Adha, we are reminded how the sacrifice took place. But we forget the main point, rather 
We know it is a sunnah of our father Ibrahim to sacrifice an animal. It is a sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa to sacrifice an animal on the day of Eid. And then we are so focused and so busy where I'm going to sacrifice the animal, how I'm going to do it, how I'm going to fill our bellies, and how we're going to distribute this meat, and how we're going to store that meat in our houses, in our freezers. But we forget the essence, the main lesson that can be taken from the story, and that is found in one ayah in Surah Safat, when Ibrahim came to his son, and what did he say? Ya Bunay, O oh my dear son, Inni ara fil manam, I saw a dream, Anni adbahuka, In it I saw that I am sacrificing you. Fandur madha tara. Do you have anything to say? What is your opinion? What did he say? What did Ismail say? What would a young boy, a young man, in our time would say? What would be his response? Did he say, Dad, you're losing the plot? How dare you talk to me like that? Well, how can you see me sacrificing me in your dream? What did he say? Subhanallah. He said, Qal. He says, Ya abati fa'alma tukma. Oh, my dear father, do as you were told to. Do as you were ordered in your dream. If alma tukma. And then he continues, Satajiduni, insha'Allah, min as-sabirin. And you shall find me from amongst the patient ones. Then Allah praises them in the next ayah. He says, Falamma aslama wa tallahu lujabin. Allahu Akbar. And when both father and son, Ibrahim and Ismail, read to Allah, and Allah saw that they have passed the test, what happened? Did he actually sacrifice his son? No. And Allah caused an animal to be there come from the heavens and that's the animal that Ibrahim alayhi salam slaughtered. And this is why the sunnah of Ibrahim will revive it once every day. But the point here, as shahid here is my dear brothers is, both the father and the son, how they submitted the will to Allah, how without, a, without any taraddu, without giving it a second thought, without thinking.